Hey everyone, my name's Ivy and today I'm going to be discussing a textual and discourse analysis of Louis Vuitton's campaign videos in collaboration with Emma Chamberlain that appear on the Louis Vuitton YouTube channel. The brand uses YouTube as a platform to post a mix of videos ranging from celebrity collaborations to their documented fashion shows to an introduction of their latest bag. But for the purpose of this task, I'll be focusing solely on their collaboration videos with Emma Chamberlain. Louis Vuitton launched their first YouTube video starring Emma Chamberlain in March this year at the same time as Emma also uploaded a video to her YouTube channel in collaboration with the brand. Let's talk about Emma Chamberlain. She's an 18 year old girl who uploads YouTube videos. Despite only starting her channel in 2017, Emma Chamberlain has built herself a YouTube following of almost 8.5 million subscribers. Vuitton's YouTube channel, which has 340,000 subscribers, is home to ad campaigns, runway footage and exclusive branded content. The addition of original content and collaborations exclusive to the platform come at a time of rapid growth in the beauty and fashion segment of YouTube. These videos, and in fact the whole reason Louis Vuitton has a YouTube channel at all, is to increase their brand engagement through infiltration of all avenues in consumers' lives, equaling more profit. So far, Vuitton has teamed with YouTube star Emma Chamberlain for a video at its Cruise 2020 show. Which has garnered more than 2 million views. A video for their fall winter 2019 show. <gasps> I love this. Which has more than 1.5 million views. And the brand has collaborated with Vogue to produce a video starring Emma getting ready for their show just days ago, which is currently number 12 on YouTube's top trending list and has received over 1 million views and is quickly rising. The videos on the Louis Vuitton channel star Emma in a follow around interview style in which she's doing activities to get ready for the Louis Vuitton shows whilst talking to the camera as if she's speaking directly to you, the viewer. Throughout the videos, the tone is light and humorous, with Emma making jokes using colloquial or slang language, which remain on par with her quirky and outgoing personality, and also the image that she upholds on her own YouTube channel. She gives her own thoughts and opinions on all things Louis Vuitton and high fashion. The brand has obviously encouraged this to ensure she, she remains true to her personality and serves as a way for her to remain as relatable as ever to her young fans, which have been brought across from her channel to the Louis Vuitton channel. She uses words like vibes, fun times, and this discourse familiarity is purposely used in a way to entertain the younger audience Louis Vuitton is hoping to capture by partnering with her. So. It's not exactly news that there is a lack of linkage between Emma and high fashion. Emma's thrift store, vintage and messy style is what has become the most fashionable trend over the past few years. Her relatable and easy to imitate fashion sense is one of the main factors which has brought her into the YouTube spotlight in the first place. It is this that Louis Vuitton has cleverly used to alter their brand image in order to gain access to a whole new market of consumers. Usually, the brand positions itself as a jet setter, giving off the emotional message of high superiority, ego, status and power. Using Emma as a brand ambassador is ingenious. They have secured so many of the younger generation into buying their brand. Emma's viewers mostly fall into the age bracket of around 15 to 24 years old, whilst Louis Vuitton's usual purchasing demographic would be significantly older than this. Therefore, Using her in their videos has allowed new access to a sector that they previously weren't actively marketing towards. There has been a recognisable amount of backlash from those more invested in the high fashion world as to why Louis Vuitton chose Emma Chamberlain to be a face for their brand. This is exactly the effect that Louis Vuitton was going for. They've drawn attention to themselves through Emma's audience, which they now have access to, as well as those who are disapproving and, like everyone says, all publicity is good publicity. Louis Vuitton has nailed the delivery of their form of advertisement and have successfully reached their target niche. Although the videos contain no call to action or linkage to their website to shop, in order to reach their target of young and trendy teen customers, just the construction of the Louis Vuitton branding in consumers' mind is enough to slowly but surely work their products into the audience's life. 
This is where Louis Vuitton have nailed making YouTube work for them. They have captured a new audience, all whilst making the most of the budget-friendly and wide-reaching platform that YouTube is.